my dear students welcome to our online classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science jsi pu college mysore students in our previous session i had explained you about classification of computers under that we have studied analog computers digital computers and hybrid computers in today's session we are going to learn another type of classification it is based on its configuration configuration in the sense in terms of size in terms of capacity and in terms of performance now let us look into that types of computers classification based on configuration there are four types of computers they are microcomputers mini computers mainframe computers and supercomputers now let us see all these things one by one microcomputers are the computers what we are using today here these by the computers they have started around the year 1970s and these computers will be having one or two processors you know what is a processor in our previous uh, session I had explained you about generation of computers there we have studied what is microprocessor so these type of computers they were having one or two microprocessor and it is a single user system or only one user can use the system at a time and they were using lsi and vlsi you have studied this under generation of computers fourth generation of computers isn't it so lsi stands for large scale integration and vlsi stands for very large scale integration lsi or vlsi is nothing but more number of transistor placed over a silicon chip to form one microprocessor so and because of this technology the processing time is increased the processing speed is measured in terms of gigahertz that is 4.77 gigahertz and as all of you know nowadays we are using input devices you know we are using number of input devices like uh, keyboard and your joystick and mouse and other things and similar output devices it can be a monitor printer or speaker and we know we are using different type of memory devices as an today's computers so as you know that the microcomputers what we are using today are very small in size and it is portable if i say portable it can be relocated or it can move from one place to another place and it is inexpensive and for example for this is your desktop computer what we are using today and personal computers or laptop and tablet pcs or tablet computers are examples of this microcomputers and the application of microcomputers all all of you are aware of this we are using in office maybe in small office or in corporate office in the field of industries in business or even or even in field of science and technology so this is about microcomputer now let us look into that another type of computer mini computers so what are mini computers this mini computer in general it is an intermediate stage or intermediate device so it in terms of size in terms of capacity in terms of performance it lies between micro computer as well as mainframe computer so everything in terms of size compares capacity as well as performance it is better than micro computer but it is very less powerful less capacity as compared to mainframe computers so let us look into that mini computers these mini computers the period is around 1960s and so it is a multi user device what is the meaning of multi user device it is if you look into micro computer only one user can use this system at a time but it used to support multi user if you look at the example it used to support 4000 user at a time so if i say 4000 user at a time it used to be set up in one one place the users they used to work with dumb terminal what is dumb terminal and these are the keyboard or monitor which will be connected to a centralized system that is dumb terminal so with that respect 
it used to support 4000 users at a time or multi users they used to work with terminals like keyboard monitor and all and obviously this if you look compare this microcomputer will be having only one or two microprocessors but this will be having more than two processors depending on this configuration and they were using high level language at the i mean while programming at mini computers even at micro computers we are using high level languages isn't it so in terms of uh, performance how do we measure it it used to process 5 millions of instructions per second if you look into that and here we uh, we calculate in under micro computers the we say the performance in terms of 4.77 gigahertz but a with respect to mini computers the performance are measured in terms of processing time or now 5 millions of instructions it execute per second and as i told you it is intermediate device between micro computer as well as mainframe computer so it is small less expensive and less powerful and the applications of this in the field of uh, science and engineering and also to maintain database management system so this is about mini computers now let us look into that another two types of computers mainframe and super computers students now we look into that mainframe computers the mainframe computers the period is around 1975 onwards and it is more powerful computers and in terms of performance it is more reliable this is in comparison with mini computers and micro computers and it used to support multiple users multiple users if you look into that the micro computers it support only one user that is a single user system but mainframe computer is a multi user system and they used to support around 50000 users at a time now if i say 50000 users at a time you can imagine how the powerful system would be isn't it so similarly if the number of user they used to work with dumb terminals means with the help of keyboard or a monitor or some other input and output devices and here generally this mainframe computers very large in size and they have developed this only for multitasking operations what is multitasking this is processing more than one task simultaneously that is the meaning of multitasking so this is especially designed for this multitasking systems we can measure the performance or we can say it is more powerful by looking at the number of instructions process per second mainframe computer which it process 16 million of instructions per second see you can think of the speed of this computer so generally these computers very large in size and again it as it support 50000 users they used to set up these type of devices in one location or one place user they used to work with dam terminals now again the applications of micro computers is in critical applications are where we have to process bulk data if i say bulk data nothing but large amount of data for example census system what is census this is to find population of a country so it requires so much of data to be processed for calculation so there we are using this type of system and again in the field of industry different industries may chemical industries or some other industries and generally these computers will be also used in real time applications what is meaning of real time applications ongoing systems for example we are using this in weather forecasting so what is meaning weather forecasting weather is a continuous process it is going to change every seconds isn't it so there we are using this type of system that is an example for real time systems we are using this mainframe computers in airlines from airline traffic to airline ticket booking system so and ibm z system and z9 z13 and line x1 or belongs to or an example for mainframe computers now after this we move on to 
another type of computers that is supercomputers. The supercomputers, this period is around 1960s and as and today this is the fastest and advanced computer. So this is fast we are going to measure in terms of teraflops it is 132.8 teraflops. Here teraflops is nothing but uh, with, with respect to number of decimal points, decimal places. If there are more number of decimal places, so the system is going to work or to the most accurate values. Supercomputer consists of thousands of microprocessors. Now you can imagine the performance. Supercomputer consists of thousands of microprocessors. It shows that the performance is very high so and it is more reliable and it is most expensive supercomputers are used in in critical applications or where it requires or in involve large amount of data to be processed or complicated calculations so uh, and also to maintain very large database apart from this we are using in weather forecasting as i told you just now it is a real time application so weather forecasting and nuclear power stations where it has to be monitored these plants has to be monitored at every every point of time at every seconds there also we are using this type of supercomputers and in the field of uh, space science and in the defense to design and testing weapons and missiles even they are using this in aircraft simulators simulators or simulation they are using supercomputer to design an aircraft and also test the performance of aircraft as simulators. It also used in the field of animations as and today this is the more advanced and uh, fastest computer available. Now after this now let us move on to the next concept applications of computer system or applications of computers students now we look into that applications of computers as i told you just now or uh, we have studied under classification of computers we have seen different applications of computers now applications of computers in the field of education in the field of education even in schools and colleges even in school offices and in schools and colleges these computers are used for for training students at different levels and same computers can also be used even for office work to maintain student database and other office clerical work and if you look into that another application is banks now you know if you go to any bank nowadays everything is computerized now we are you might have familiar with transaction and online transactions or transaction inside the bank at the bank level are maintained through computers and even a ATM system it also another applications of computers and even in office corporate sectors a office a, it can be a small office private companies or very big corporate sectors or very big private companies they are using these computers at different levels and they are using this in offices to maintain the payroll system payroll is nothing but to calculate the salaries and other financial things we are using these computers similarly to maintain the database of an employee of in a company and in stock exchange you know what is stock exchange that is nothing but buying and selling of shares of any companies that is also an application of computers and in the field of science and technology for research and development research and development in the field of science and technology in the field that might be in the field of healthcare or in research and other activities we are using computers and in the field of entertainment in terms of news and another forms of entertainment in the field of science and technology that is satellite communication and again in hospitals at different level very good example is ICU but one industrial application is nothing but CAD CAM it is computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing so here you are using these type of computers in the field of industry for designing and to get different images 
of different uh, mechanical or automobile parts in an industry so where where we they can use computer to design and they can get the image 2d image or three dimensional 3d images so all these are different applications of computers students the chapter fundamental of computer or ends with applications of computer okay under this chapter we have learned the basic definition of computers and block diagram of computers different what is data and information different types of data then history of computers generations of computers and classification of computers classification based on the performance or functionality that is analog digital and hybrid computers now today in in this session i had explained to you about classification based on the configuration that is nothing but your mainframe computers mini computers micro computers and super computers we have discussed the different applications of computers thank you very much students